Hello, this is Minda Adina at mindaadina.com and welcome to this video. May kasabihan na ang problema ay kakambal na ng buhay. Pero may sinasabi rin sa Proverbs 18, Proverbs 18 verse 21, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Ang sinasabi is kung ano pala yung mga lumalabas sa atin ay maaaring makakapagbigay sa atin ng kamatayan or kabuhayan. So, pag palagi natin binabanggit yung word na na problem, ano kaya yun? Problem, when you hear the word problem, what comes out from your um, mind is fear, worry, depression, stress, lahat ay negative. So, ang sinasabi sa Proverbs 18.21, kailangan natin maging um, positive because kung ikokompress natin yung verse na yun, it will only means that what you confess is what you possess. So, sa buhay natin, lalong-lalo na kung may mga business tayo na it's normal to encounter problems, let's lessen or let's eliminate the word problem just to be um, to be positive with our situation. So, um, unang-una, kailangan natin um, Sabihin, instead of problem, sasabihin natin situation. Kasi nga, yung problem, ang daming idinudulot na maraming negative emotions. Samantalang, pag sinabi mo, oh, I have a situation today. Parang neutral lang siya. There's, you cannot see any negativity in the word situation. I have a situation today. Diba? So, pangalawa, pangalawa is do not say problem. Instead, say, I have a challenge today. So, when we hear the word challenge, something that will bring out the best in us. For example, when we were still studying, madalas magpa-quiz si teacher, magpa-exam, di ba? It's very exciting, lalong-lalong na pag naka-review naka ka at alam mo na maipapasa mo yung exam na yun. Isn't it, isn't it that you feel very excited to go to that, na marating mo na yung dulo ng exam na yan, na matapos na at inaabangan mo na ibibigay ulit yung teacher, yung na-correct na na papel natin. Kasi alam mo na na nakapasa ka doon sa test na yon Ganon din sa mga problema natin. When we think positively, then stop saying problem. Say challenge. Look for the good in every situation. That is positivity. Kailangan, meron, meron dapat kang makukuha na benefits in every problem that you encounter. Lahat ay kailangan isipin mo na beneficial sa iyo yun, advantage sa iyo yun. Kaya tinawag natin na challenge. Hindi problema. Ang pangatlo ay instead of saying problem, let's take it, let's say it, opportunity. I have an opportunity today. Ibig sabihin, meron kang hinaharap na maaring makakapagbigay sa iyo ng magandang, mas magandang buhay. Opportunity. Problem man yan, sabihin natin opportunity. Bakit? Kasi, for example, 
na-terminate ako. Nag-aalala na ako. Pero hindi pala dapat ganun. Kasi maaaring ang pagka-terminate kong ito ay magbibigay sa akin ng another opportunity para maidirect ako doon sa mas maganda. Doon sa mas magandang amo. So, sometimes when we encounter problems, we we are just so uh, worried. Ah, nawala. Nasunog yung tindahan. Nasunog yung ganito. Ah, nawala. Pero we do, we do not know that God is preparing something for us. He, sabi nga, sabi nga, madalas natin marinig sa sermon na if you if you think you are you feel rejected you are not rejected you are redirected god is redirecting you into um mas mas maganda pang sitwasyon kaysa doon sa sitwasyon mo at present kaya tinatanggal ka ng just doon so instead of saying problem I have an opportunity. Pag inaway ka ng amo mo, o sinaktan ka emotionally, maybe, um, instead of considering it as a problem, wow, I have an opportunity now. You do not know how God works. So, naniniwala ako na from, from this day, Pag nagkakaproblema na tayo, we will take these problems in a positive way by saying, I have a situation, I have a challenge, and I have an opportunity. So hanggang sa susunod na video po, ito po si Minda. Di na nagsasabing, there is no dream that is impossible. If you want your dreams to come true, then start it now. God bless you.